Hello and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the show that gives you all the extra material you need to truly appreciate the Exile 6E webisodes. Today, once again, I'm happy to introduce Amelia Andersdotter. Welcome. Thank you. You've been here before? Yes. More than once? Indeed. So are you getting used to it? Yeah. What do you like the decor? It's very blue. It's very European. It is. With all the people in the background walking around, you can really see that this is actually in the middle of the European Parliament. Well, it's on the transit floor of the European mm. Parliament, is that it right? Yeah. Third floor, which reaches everywhere, even the other buildings. So, two years, almost. Soon, two years. Mm -hmm. Which means that next year's it's election time. That is correct. And you will be running? I will be running. For the Pirate Party? For the Pirate Party. That makes sense, since you're elected for the Pirate Party. I will try to get re-elected on the Pirate Party platform also next year. Well, I wish you the best of luck with that. Thank so, you. what do you think the election will, what will be the big issues on the election day? Whether what? or not people go to vote is always an issue in the European elections. Yeah. We have a huge problem having people um, seeing and appreciating the vast amounts of influence that are exerted from this house and uh, using that knowledge to actually elect good representatives to here. But actually, last elections was the first time it actually increased in Sweden, partly thanks to the Pirate Party. Yes, we were very successful in getting young voters to care about European policies and the influence that they have on the average citizens' lives. So the strategy for next year is to do that again, get the young voters. I believe that it's valuable for everyone in society to appreciate the amount of influence that the European Parliament can and should exert over European policy and the influence that this House has for the uh, political and moral development of the European Union. But what about the young voters? Young voters or old voters, I guess, we're all in the society boat together and so the democratic process is one where young people and old people can collaborate in determining the direction of their society. That sounds extremely vague, but let's go with that. So what topics will the pirates run on next year? The Pirate Party will be running on a topic of smart policies for smart technologies. We have a society which is increasingly dependent on technologies in our Daily, daily discourses, political discourses, healthcare interactions, um, political interactions. The vast majority of my personal correspondence will be with voters over email or social platforms. And so we need smart policies to ensure that these spaces are the adequate spaces for the political discourse and the society that we envisage. And you would say that they are not there today? We make an incredible amount of stupid policies for technologies and in a lot of cases we even avoid making policies for technologies or uh, checking what is actually the direction of the society that we want. And by we you mean this building, the European Parliament? Um, I think the European Parliament and even every governance institution in society. So um, also the member states? Also in the member states, at the municipal or a regional level, I see a great need for the type of more inspired and enlightened debate that the Pirate Party can bring to the discussions of what information technologies mean for the social frameworks in which we find ourselves. One of the insights that we're currently lacking is that technologies uh, may not be good or bad, but they also are not neutral. Technologies, in a very large extent, define the social frameworks in which we find ourselves. Um, while often we make investments in technologies as if we're looking to provide a status quo, that is, for nothing to change, essentially a very, very conservative um, idea where uh, nothing can progress through political or moral means, but only through the, um, or not even through the deployment of technologies. Actually, technologies aren't neutral and they make a lot of difference. And we need to have a political discourse and a political vision for what kind of non-neutrality these technological changes should or can imply. So basically, what do we want the technologies to do to improve society? 
I think this is the focus that the Pirate Party will be advocating in the next elections, yes. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing more about it. I have a vague inclination that I might be involved somehow in that process. I certainly hope so. Uh, but what about the other parties? Will they not just move into the same space and say we are the best in advocating technology and visions and blah, blah, blah? I have severe difficulties seeing that other political parties will move into this space because ultimately it's about taking a lot of responsibility for the direction in which society walks. And normally people will avoid responsibility at any cost. You need somebody who is both... And by people you mean your colleagues in this building? Um, by others. people in this case I would mean the other political parties in Sweden that I see persistently avoiding yeah. accountability for the systems that they, they build or propagate. Um, also in recent times I've been looking at how um, technical institutions will interface with society and how different government authorities are using technologies in society. And the only thing that is really noteworthy is that there's an extreme lack of accountability, vision and future. We are viewing information and communication technologies as something which uh, affects only our personal smartphones or the personal inbox of a single member of parliament. That is not the case. Uh, there is also actually an impact from technologies on all of society where we are steering um, particularly market deployments of technologies um, in completely the wrong direction for I think what people are expecting from this platform that we have up until now cheered as an enabler of democracy, democratic discourse, political discourse and people empowerment. We need a radically different political environment in which we are discussing the ideas, the trust and uh, the reliability of these technical infrastructures and this is, these are the policies that the pirate parties bring to the table in Sweden and all over Europe. All over Europe, because the pirate parties will be running in a lot of countries. That is correct. And hopefully you will have colleagues from the other pirate parties with you in the European Parliament next legislature to push for these visions. I am counting on it. So to sum it up, uh, the pirate party will bring visions and accountability for the future. Yes. Well, that sounds truly terrific. Uh, I think we will end there for today. Thank you for coming and sharing your ideas for the future of Europe. And thank you all for watching.